All right, good afternoon, everyone. Yes, we begin another week of shows here on Central Valley Talk. I'm Mike Scott. Central Valley Business is the name of the show. You can see it around the world on the Internet, centralvalleytalk.com. We have a busy show for you today. Look at all the... Give yourselves a hand. Yeah. Yeah. Nice audience today. We're going to get to them all, but we begin with Mark Jackson from Blue Dolphin Design and Engineering. Mark's been with us before. But today, Mark, you want to talk about inventing. Yes, inventing, which, of course, is a subject near and dear to our heart. Um, one of the things we did to try to uh, help inform people about what to do if they have an idea for an invention is we came up with an acronym, and appropriately, it's, it's INVENT. Um, and we're going to find out what each of those letters stands for. Yes, we are. For yeah, so in the, the first, Blue Dolphin book. Yeah, that, and <laughs> I, I, of course, it stands for ideas. And that's the easy part. Yeah. Everybody's got ideas. The cool thing about what we do is that everybody in the world potentially is a customer because everybody has ideas. And so, but you doing know, something with those ideas. Yeah, is, that's the that's the, that's a serious part. So, and they can come from anywhere, and they can be in any form. You may have them written down on paper. You may have made your own little prototype. You may just be in your head, but we'll deal with you in any, in any situation. However you come to us, we have to deal with those situations. So the first thing is the idea. And uh, the next part of that, of course, um, the, the N, N. That, that stands for numbers. Okay. Now, this is where people start having issues, I should say, about what they need to be doing. And uh, numbers are really important. And some of the numbers are, you know, who is your market? And how big is that market? Because that kind of dictates how we go about uh, doing some of the work that we do and some, some of the uh, engineering processes we go through uh, is dictated by how large your market. Are you selling 10 of these? Are you selling 10 million of them? And uh, we approach it differently. Um, uh, so also, uh, do you want to own your business or do you want to sell your idea? It's another number thing because now Starting a business is a whole different ball game to, to, to sell your idea. Or do you just want to figure your idea out and then sell the idea out to somebody else and correct royalties? So numbers, they're, they're kind of important. And you should be thinking about those things. It, it's always very useful. I've been thinking about what V is going to stand for. V, very good. But that's not what it stands for. <laughs> uh, uh, verify. Verify. Okay. okay, so verify. Here's the thing. Uh, uh, everybody knows about patents, right? Well. Uh, figuring out whether or not your brilliant idea is the first time it's come to be come into existence um, that's one of the things you got to figure out so verifying um, are there patents you know has somebody already done this uh, have you searched on the internet to see somebody selling it and there even isn't a patent but somebody's already doing it you go through a lot of work uh, potentially to do something that's already been done before and to just have a hobby instead of a business right so it's pretty important that you verify uh, what you're doing, as well as if there are is competition out there, who are they? You know, verify who those people are. Um, the next part, uh, E, uh, another E here is engineer. Okay, well, that's uh, another thing that we you know help help with. Of course, is that we can design your idea. We're engineers. Um, everything requires some kind of thinking. We'll create virtual prototypes on the CAD system. Um, we'll do whatever analysis needs to be done. We try to uh, uh, design your idea uh, in the most practical way so that it doesn't cost a fortune to produce when the time comes to produce it. Um, it's uh, it's a pretty important step, and is, 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 it's actually a step that's left out from a lot of uh, invention-type organizations is, is they're, they're not truly engineering products. They're, they're creating nice pictures but you actually have to create something that can be made. And so that step's pretty important. And that, of course, is one of the things that we add to this whole thing. Which brings us to? N, another N. OK, next generation prototype. And the reason I say next generation is nowadays we do our prototyping. A lot of it's done through 3D printing. We have, uh, as you know, we've talked about this before, we have 3D printers on site. We do a lot of prototyping with 3D printing. We also take those 3D prints sometimes and create other things from those 3D prints. They're wonderful for doing quick verification of designs. They're starting to become actually a part of actual normal manufacturing where instead of having a bunch of tooling made, you just 3D print the parts that you want in a manufacturing setting. And so it's become a big part of the business, a big part of everything that's going on. And, and we've talked previously about all the different variations of 3D printing there is out there. But it's an important aspect is creating that prototype and have something to, to deal with. Um, 
The, the last but, uh, but uh, not least is test. So we go through this whole process and invariably, no matter how much it's engineered or thought out or how much you think you've, you've figured things out before you come to us, you still have to get it out there and figure out if is it really going to work. Does it work? Does it work? Does it, does it appeal to the people you want to sell to? D does the thing function like you thought it would? Often what happens is when we have a prototype and they start doing their evaluating by showing different customers, doing surveys, they start thinking of other features that they would like to include. So it sometimes makes the product morph and design into something even better. So it's an important step. Um, you really want to know if there's going to be issues. Is it going to fail after, under certain circumstances you didn't consider? Those are important things to know before you start spending a lot of money on producing this thing or trying to sell the idea to somebody. Mm -hmm. um, and also, it's useful in figuring out, uh, in the testing phase, it's figuring out uh, how much will it cost to produce this thing because is this the final, final product? And if so, how much does it cost to, to produce this? You need to know all that stuff because you need to know how much you can sell it for to make money. And, and uh, it's useful, uh, very useful information. Well, so. I, can, I can relate to the testing thing, and I'll, I'll tell you a little story here. There are dog launchers that are made. They're, they're just pieces of plastic, basically. You put a tennis ball in Oh, them. you don't launch a dog? No, no. Okay. You, you throw the tennis ball. It allows you to throw the tennis ball a lot farther than you could with just yes. your arm. Okay. Well, somebody came up with one that it's, it's in pieces, and it folds down into a very small, compact okay. size. And then right. it, it you know expands, expands and expands. And I thought, this is great. Yeah. So I bought one. Mm -hmm. Well, it turned out to be garbage. I mean, mm -hmm. it just it was really flimsily made, yeah, yeah. didn't hold up, yeah. was falling apart within a couple yeah. of days of me buying it. Yeah. So a great idea. Right. In practice, though, right. I mean, didn't they take this thing out and, and try it before they put no, it on the market? Prob probably not. And that's, that, that happens frequently. And, and so the process, as, as I mentioned, there are, it's good to go through those steps because say you pay to make 10,000 of those and 10,000 of them all of a sudden get returned to you. you, you or one bad review or, goes online or one bad and, review and nobody goes buys them anymore. Like yeah. this. And so... Uh, <laughs> well, I didn't mention yeah. any name of the product. But. <laughs> well, it's, it's very important. It, it's important to go through the steps uh, and, and it helps in the long run for you to be successful. Sure. You want, your, you want your product to work before it's uh, put out there. Absolutely. I think yeah. so, yeah. So these are all the things that Blue Dolphin Design and Engineering can help people with ideas yes. accomplish. Absolutely. Yeah. Yes. So your website, your phone right. number, how can okay. folks reach you? All right. A uh, good way to call. You can call us if you want. Uh, the phone number uh, here in the Central Valley is 559-222-4111. Uh, you, to sit down with us, to go over your idea and see where you're at, doesn't cost anything the first time through. Uh, and we're always glad to, to do that with our customers. Uh, you can visit our website, which is www.bluedolphinengineering.com. Go on the site. We have a form you can fill out online and send it in, and we'll, we'll call you back, and we can talk to you about your idea. You can look at some of the things we've worked on and uh, the people we've helped out and the fun things we've done. Cool. And is this your new shirt you're wearing? Uh, this is actually a shirt I've had for a number of years. Everybody loves our shirts. They always want them. So, uh, <laughs> Look sharp. Wear it today. Yeah. Look sharp. Thanks. All right, Mark, thank you for coming in again. Yeah, it's good seeing you, Mark. Appreciate it. Mark yeah. Jackson from Blue Dolphin Design and Engineering here on Central Valley Talk.